Shout out to Nitro, shout out to Glacier. Huh, I want the ice you never paid for. I got a bankroll, becoming major. Huh, I'll zip you up just like a tailor. I got the world in my hands, where's the glory in that? I need more for the kids, thinking matter of fact. I need rats for the people, straight up finishing last. I need bars for the kids who care less for a max. Yeah, shape up, parallelogram. Don't string yourself out on any paragraphs. Ride up, little homie, fill up a notepad. Write words that you know will make an impact. Ooh, I caught myself in running dumb tracks. So I started soaring up and lived that. Still pulling up to you, I'm rapping 10 raps. I was taught I would Apollo, I took 10 classes. A hundred people, I don't been that. Yo, people took me down, I felt a relapse. Ooh, I got potential, gotta see ya. Yo, I'm reverential to my lead. Reverential to my leader Shout out to Nitro, shout out to Glacier. Huh, I want the ice you never paid for. I got a bankroll, becoming major. Huh, I'll zip you up just like a tailor. I got the world in my hands, where's the glory in that? I need more for the kids, thinking matter of fact. I need rats for the people, straight up finishing last. I need bars for the kids who care less for a max. Yeah, shape up, parallelogram. Don't string yourself out on any paragraphs. Ride up, little homie, fill up a notepad. Write words that you know. I will make an impact. Ooh, I caught myself in running dumb tracks. So I started soaring up and lived that. Still pulling up to you, I'm rapping 10 raps. I was taught I would Apollo, I took 10 classes. A hundred people, I don't been that. Yo, people took me down, I felt a relapse. Ooh, I got potential, gotta see ya. Yo, I'm reverential to my leader. Reverential to my leader
Shout out to Nitro, shout out to Glacier, huh, I want the ice you never paid for, I got a bankroll, becoming major, huh, I'll zip you up just like a tailor, I got the world in my hands, where's the glory in that, I need more for the kids, thinking matter of fact, I need rest for the people straight up finishing last, I need bars for the kids who care less for a max, yeah, shape up, parallelogram, don't string yourself out on any paragraphs, ride up, little homie fill up a notepad, write words that you know will make an impact, Ooh, I caught myself in running dumb tracks, so I started soaring, I will live that, still pulling up to you, I'm rapping 10 raps, I was taught I would Apollo, I took 10 classes, 100 people I don't been that, yo, people took me down, I felt a relapse, I got potential, gotta see ya. Yo, yo, I'm reverential to my leader. I'm reverential to my leader. Shout out to Nitro, shout out to Glacier, huh, I want the ice you never paid for, I got a bankroll, becoming major, huh, I'll zip you up just like a tailor, I got the world in my hands, where's the glory in that, I need more for the kids, thinking matter of fact, I need rest for the people straight up finishing last, I need bars for the kids who care less for a max, yeah, shape up, parallelogram, don't string yourself out on any paragraphs, ride up, little homie fill up a notepad, write words that you know will make an impact Ooh, I caught myself in running dumb tracks so I started soaring I will live that still pulling up to you I'm rapping 10 raps I was taught I would Apollo I took 10 classes 100 people I don't been that yo people took me down I felt a relapse I got potential gotta see ya yo I'm reverential to my leader
fuck reverential to my leaders. Hey guys, Big Flip here. I have to adjust a couple cameras here, get my ducks in a row. I was in a rush this morning, we overslept, but let me figure out some stuff here. How are you all? Let me catch up with the chat here real quick. Shibby Rob, I'm sorry it didn't make it. That was my bad. I dropped the ball on that the holiday and then I forgot to take the coins when I left in the morning and but I'm very sorry about that. Um, those packs were really nice. I wished everybody had theirs. Um, hopefully that will never happen again. Stuff happens. I just couldn't change the outcome of that. Dash, what's happening? Nice to see you in here. Been having some good scores this week. Les Wiley, what's happening? Yvonne Morgan, how are you? Hope, hope you have a good time in here. Melvin Moore. Shibby Rob, Peter Boards. Peter, how do you pronounce your last name? Mike Wolf, Moose Socks in the house. Just the intro screen still. Let me see. Yeah, I'm 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 behind this morning. You're seeing it? Oh, I see. That works. So, um, I got some good scores this week. And I wanted to go over some of the coins that... Oh, Coin Junkie AG, nice to see you in here. Let me catch up. I'm still catching up on chat. I wanted to go over some coins that I've acquired through this community. Through Silver Seeker, Half Dollar, Mantic, um, all those... Mary Love, nice to see you. Captain Jigga, hey, what's happening? Alicia, nice to see you in here. I was looking for Peter Bo's pronunciation. I'm Brian, nice to see you in here. Thanks for showing up. Um, Ravenous. Very cool. Nice to see you in here. Um, so I'm going to go over some stuff. So does everything look all right on the screen? I need to know that, I guess. Yeah, everything looks good to me. 
<clears throat> all right yeah it all looks good the problem with the scroll over there is if they have chat up they can't see the scroll that's been the problem with questions real 300 z-man hey what's up nice to see you in here yeah i was going to go over some of the silver or yeah some of the silver that i got in this community over the last six months or so um me and dash dash and i or jared have been he's been scoring some coins this week and um it kind of generated to me to uh show what i've accumulated in this um community in the last six months so we're gonna go over some of that um uh, and i think you guys will find that very cool there has been a lot of money spent on a lot of channels in this community and I did it for a reason. I did it so that I could acquire a lot of uh, silver, and I did it. Um, I'm probably at a, over 100 pounds of silver just from this community alone. And then um, anything else that I have was basically the silver eagles that I paid premiums on and um, some of the collector stuff I paid some premiums on. But besides that, everything has been through the community in, in silver that you're going to see today. And um, so I'm going to get at it. I'm going to show you a box of stuff. This is from the last month. Um, we have It's Me Brian in here. We have Silver Seeker in here. We have Penny Pincher in here. Um, then we have the orders that I did um, through Provident. I'm not going to show you those because I showed you those last week. What else is in here? My Mexican coins, nickels that I found recently. Oh, check this out. This came out of a half dollar roll yesterday. I'll put it under the scope for you. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't believe it's worth 50 cents. I think I got burned on that one, but it is what it is. It's worth 48 cents, 48 US. So I lost two cents on this coin. <laughs> Polynesian, it shows boats and homes on the water and the big mountain in Polynesia. And the backside must show a king or something there. But I thought that was cool. Came out of a, a roll yesterday. It stood out. I'll show you the edges of that one. And I don't have another half, but I can show it to you in a little while. But so it kind of stood out in that roll. But I thought that was cool. Um, are we seeing Nature Hunter yet? If you guys see Nature Hunter, let me know. Um, My PayPal info is silverandgoldflipper at yahoo.com. That'll get you in there. Um, and then you can see the scroll right there. And that scroll will tell you what's going down. Um, I have 20 boxes in my garage. Nope, I have 18 boxes in my garage of half dollars, about 10 boxes of pennies, a couple good boxes of nickels. That was what I do about every week. Um, here, I want to show you guys something real quick. Let me, uh, let me intermission this. I'll be right back. 15 seconds. <laughs> Right and back. I want to show you this. This is my lollipop jar. Every time I go in and get a box from the bank and they have lollipops, I put lollipops in here. So yesterday I picked up six, I picked up 12 lollipops that I got just yesterday and um, they're not in here yet. 
but this is my second jar of these and that's in the last like four months and of course I've missed some and I've eaten some but my lollipop jar kind of keeps track of stuff all right I'm gonna put this box away this you guys have already seen that one this here came from it's me Brian he we did a trade on a couple of these we did a trade on this heart for a couple of my grab bags and uh, certificate he knows he knows this guy and he's pouring them for Brian that's where Brian gets it it's me Brian bars so this was cool this was a cool heart um, I hope you guys can see that And then, I don't remember where I got this. This was an, a, a copy of a Morgan. And I think it's totally bunk. I can feel it. I don't remember where I got it from. I think, I don't remember who sent this to me, but it's cool to have. Um, it's one of those coins that you can introduce to your children and then see how they take care of the coins. And um, so that's something to think about. You can pick one of these up for a couple bucks, give them to your children and let them appreciate them and see how they treat their coins. Then we got this from Nature Hunter along with a little gold nugget. Can you see that? I'm gonna throw it underneath there. And I, I have gone over some of this stuff, but I, made, I wanted to make sure I um, didn't miss anything. So a little gold nugget Nature Hunter sent me a couple of um, one gram walkers and I'd never seen these before but I thought they were cool and then so that's part of that pack there that's that then uh, I picked this up I think it was eBay um, this is just a commemorative 1986 commemorative I give these away all the time, but this is another one that I picked up off of eBay. It is just clad. Um, we all have these, but that's another score that I got this in the last six months. And then, let me see. I missed what you got available. I have silver poles, which are um, bullion, um, just straight silver bullion coins. And then I have, um, silver eagles. And then I have a couple of, uh, Libertads in there. I have about 10 silver bags set up right now. I'm trying to delete all those out of the program so I can start giving away some of the coins that are right over there that I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm going to start giving away some of the stuff that I've won on um, the streams this is silver seekers last week i did not do a shout out on this um, i probably should have but i didn't and uh, it came with some more halves 90 percenters but there's a 90 percent 64 this is a uh z Singalis. let me see if i can get that up Well, let me try again. With a shield on the back. Let me see if I can put it under here. Check him out. He is totally cool. So this came from Silver Seeker. I did a meltdown with Silver Seeker last Sunday. Uh, last Saturday and we killed him. He was at like 15 boxes and he had sold three more He was trying to get through 18 and it was 430 in the morning his time and we finally told him hey enough's enough We'll save our boxes for Wednesday. You probably all know that because you're always in the um, The streams that I'm in then I got this uh, Australian wedge-tailed eagle It is a um, one dollar Australian it is very cool. Of course, you see the queen, but then you'll see the eagle. 
And I'll show you under the scope too. Man, it's pretty hard to do this, guys. Oh, there it is. Well, the closer I get, the better it is. Cool. Got a little eaglet and daddy coming in, whatever. So that was a Silver Seeker giveaway. Okay, so what I was saying was a Silver Seeker, I did the meltdown and I ended up winning two Megas. And so I got two Mega Poles plus four um, regular poles. And the two Megas that I got were two two ounces. I was hoping they were here today for this stream, but they are not. So um, next week I'll show them to you. Next week will be my final week for about two weeks. Um, hunting season is here. I will be hunting one part of Colorado. Um, let me think. One part of Colorado. The last week of the month and then another part of Colorado, the middle of the end of this month. So, um, but if I shoot, I'm heading back, so you might see me. Just giving you all a little heads up on that. Lake House Beach, nice to see you in here. Um, ANACS Slabbed Penny. This was one that I've, I'm searching into. I had a bunch of these in my grab bags, and I've pulled them because I basically killed the grab bags because I didn't want to give these out because they're not reputable. So I want to give out good slabs. And like I told you guys, there are maybe one or two of these left in those grab bags and I haven't killed them yet. So if you pull one of those, I'm going to give you a 90 percenter um, and you will be able to pick a number of what 90 percenter you get. But those are my grab bags. This is a PCGS MS65 41 nickel. It's pretty cool. It's a 1941D. Then these came from Penny Pincher. I did a shout out on these. They were very cool. He sent me these mint sets, 1965 mint sets, um, just because. He also sent me this 19, I think it was him, or this might be It's Me, Brian, but this is another mint set. I always keep what everybody gives me, I, um, but I don't keep what I paid for. So if I'd made a donation and I got something, I'm probably going to give it away. Um, appreciation that way. But this was a mint set that was given to me. I think it could be It's Me, Brian, or... Um, yeah, I think so. Brian Wilkinson. So, And you guys check out his channel. Um, I preach all this all the time. But check out those channels that I talk about. And uh, they all have content. They all are good places to be. Um, BLK Steel, he's streaming right now. He's doing pennies, I think. Or maybe he just put a, a video up. I don't know. So that's that. I want to show you guys some monster coins. Uh, I did show them before. I think I showed them um, during a video, but it might very well have been a live stream. I think it was a video, but I want to dig them out. So these are... My silver bars that I've picked up through the streams. Let me see what these are. These I picked up at a coin show for spot price. Check these out. I can't really turn it the other way. Yeah, I guess I can. These are spot price. Which was very cool. I didn't pay any premium on these. It's because they have a little bit of a toning deal going on, but I don't care. Um, they're printed right on the side. One. Huh. 31. Out. Five Troy. I don't know. I don't know. But they feel to me to be about... Let's see if we can scope them. Let's see what it says. No, we can't scope them either. But they have a serial number. I think they say... 
Let me check the other one. Five ounces with a serial number. Oh no, that's serial number. Over here is Yes, 5TO of 999 silver. So those were a score. I got these back when spot was at about $15. So five times 15 is what I paid for those. There's some Silver Seeker Silver in here. Um, the Egyptian Relic Series. If you guys haven't seen it, this was what I got one night on one of his uh, melts, one of the melts that I did. And if you see that thing, look how thick it is. And these you can handle because they're kind of made to handle. Um, it says Republic du Chad, 2017, thousand francs, two troy ounce. So it is a true coin. And then I got the cousin to that one, which was this one. And this is 3,000 francs, five troy ounces. Republic du Chad and this one is the Egyptian the King Tut coin the other one was the Ramses II coin look at the size of that thing so I'm working on melting down some silver I'm trying to find some really rough 999 silver I can buy um, some of the silver that is um, already broke down into the little beads, but you kind of have to pay a premium for them because they're ready to melt. Here's the National Refiners Assay Series. I have like four or five of these from Silver Seeker. They're all numbered and they all are older bars, so they have a bigger premium on them. I have like four or five of those. And then if you guys haven't seen the bullet, this is a Northwest Territorial Mint Silver Bullet. It is a one ounce, it's a 40. Let me make sure of that. It looks like to me to be about a 40 cal, but I mean a, a little short pistol 40. All right. Then um, some other bullion bars, nothing crazy. I picked that up at a coin show. So we got through the silver. Let's get rid of that. And then I want to get to some of these coins that I have through um, most, mostly Silver Seeker. You get a lot of half dollars and dollars through half dollar make you holler. But Silver Seeker gives out um, all the coins. So I want to go over some of that. Oh, here's some Silver Seeker gold that I got. And I already had some gold. But this is... Oh yeah, this is a maple. I got this through Silver Seeker. It is a quarter ounce maple. And you know, you've all seen these quarter ounce maples, but... I'll throw it underneath here for you. Five dot, five, what's it say? Fine gold, it's a quarter, and it's got the queen on it. This is a little gold coin that I found when I was a kid. I don't remember where it was, I really don't know what it's worth, but it's a little Krugerrand, and, um, I've had it forever. Let's see if we can't get that under. It's probably the size of an eraser end to 1980. I graduated in 84 and I've had it a long time. It is not one ounce fine. But that's cool. Here's an NGC slab. That I got through Silver Seeker. Oh no. Did I just buy this the other day? No. That must be a Silver Seeker deal too. Along with these. 
um, IGR bar, our IGR cards and the PAMP card. These are one gram a piece, and they're the same size as a credit card. They can like fit in your wallet. I think they're really cool. So if the world ever came to an end and was going crazy, you could throw these in your wallet, carry them around, and just do whatever. All right, so that's some of the gold that I got through Silver Seeker. And that's what I'm saying, you know, you step over there and you get stuff that you don't usually get. Here's um, another Silver Seeker. Queen Elizabeth $50 coin. It's a maple, 217. It's 10 ounces of silver. Look at the size of that thing compared to my big fat sausage fingers. So I got that in a melt instead of taking six poles. I took a meltdown um, pole. So that's that. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, so these are from a coin show, a local coin show. And I picked these up for spot price. These are... Walking Liberties, 1991. They are, they're all, they all have a um, serial number on the edge. And they all came with authenticity. And it says right here, one half pound of silver. Spot price. I killed it that day at that coin show on spot. You just have to work those coin shows and you can come up with some really good stuff because people have been sitting on this stuff for so long. There's one, two, three. I had a discussion with my lady before I went over there. Four, five, six. Six of them that I bought at spot that day. It was crazy. I went over there and then I came back home and we discussed it and then I went back the next day and bought them. But that's stuff that you just... You, you have to look for and when you find it you got to get it because you'll regret it if you don't alright now remember all this stuff is just stuff that I have acquired through our community so that'll let you know what I've spent in this community Oh, now you can see my belly. All right, so check it out. We have here the silver generic rounds that I've acquired and then I put in this capsule. But they're all different, 2002s. They're just generic silver rounds. And like I say, all this stuff was acquired through the community. This came from, remember I told you I killed it at that coin show? These six silver eagles came from that coin show at Spot. They have some toning going on. But this one is a... 1991 oh I won this one from half dollar it's a cameo it throws some purples and stuff down let me see if I can get it under the scope see that so it is a silver eagle but it's called a cameo it's a 2005 that came from um, half dollar make you holler another silver eagle another silver eagle a 1993 a 92 Cool, cool, cool toned silver eagle. I'm going to see if I can get some toning there. Can you see the purples and the blues and the rainbows in that thing? It's really nice. So I bought it floating free. It wasn't in a capsule. I put it in a capsule. Coin show score there.
these are all what I've found in my coin roll hunting. I haven't got to these yet because um, I don't need them yet, but they will come out. And then we have a, uh, we used to have a casino here that would give you commemorative coins when you were gambling. So I ended up with a bunch of these commemorative coins. Now what they're doing with these ones with the silver in the middle, you take them into the coin store and they'll buy them for what their value is, the silver value. And then they put them in a press and they pop those center things out of there and then they melt them down. Could be what I'm gonna do with those, but I doubt it. I think you guys might like some of those. So we'll see. Um, so found coins, coins that I've had for a long time that I've collected way before this community 10 12 15 years ago then these are all coins that i have found uh coin roll hunting there's probably oh here's one this came from half dollar make you holler it's a it's a double proof it's got some things going on with his face let's see if we can bring that up i gotta bring the scope way down Can you see his chin there? See his chin has a little secondary chin like I do? So that's what was called out with half dollar. They said, here, take this. This was one of my winnings there for, or this was an appreciation coin for their giveaways. I mean, their donations, very cool, but and then the rest of these, I pretty much found myself. A lot of cool commemorative coins. All this stuff is going to go one day. It will all be gone. I don't have any sentimental attachment to any of these. A couple of them, but not a lot of them. So we are at that much. Then, if you are online and they're selling you buffaloes or any of that silver stuff at spot or a, like five or ten cents over buy them sometimes they do these these uh sales where they'll give you 10 rounds for your household at 10 cents over spot buy them up but these this is a, a couple of rolls of uh silver eagles that i've picked up this here is going to be Buffalo rounds, I think, that I picked up. Yes, the buffalo rounds. So I pick up tubes of those every chance I get, and I'll send them to my neighbors and to work and to my ladies' work. And because you can only get them to one address, um, you can only get that deal to one address. So food for thought getting that silver. So these are pretty cool. I have about 10 of these. Let's see what we got here. These are coins that I got from that coin show. No, I went into my coin shop and I said, do you have any foreign silver? And they said yes, and I looked through it, and I picked all these up. All these were broke down between silver content and premium and spot price. So the nice lady at the coin store broke every one of those down and charged me according to what they were worth, silver value. There's one coin here I wanted to show you. I don't know where it went. Here it is. This coin is so cool. I got this at Spot. But it's not the outer part of it that's cool. It's the edges. I'm going to see if I can't get it out of here. It's been out of here. I was just protecting it. Look at these edges. It's probably one of my favoriteest coins. It's not worth 
a great amount but it's got some really cool edge to it so I, I wanted to show you that one let me see if I missed anything here so keep an eye out for all that stuff if you're buying if you're buying coins oh this is silver seeker stuff I didn't show you those if you're buying coins, that's good, that's great, um, and you're paying a high premium for them, try to get them slabbed, or at least know what you're buying, or expect everything else to be at spot price, or a little over. It's hard to find spot price coins, but you can do it. So this one here, I'm not gonna show um, every one. This is Noah's Ark. It's a one ounce round. It's a 500 gram Republic of Armenia. This is a shilling, a hundred shilling. It's got the American uh, Wildlife Series. It's got the elephant on it. Um, oh, very cool. I don't know where I got this from, but it was very cool. It is a $1 coin, but it's got the really nice Liberty Bell on it. Um, oh, I got a Libertad that I don't even remember having. An 86 Libertad. Can you look that up? Oh, I got another one and another one. I got a 2009. Those are the, those are the, new, those are the ones that when they started. So you got to keep track of those. Um, I'm going to set those three Libertads over here. I've all of a sudden acquired a real taste for Libertads. What? No. They are not proofs. I got another Bell. I got a Krugerrand, a Krugerrand, um, a silver one ouncer. That's the Don't Tread on Me snake. Um, this is the Precious Metals 2016 Coyote State of Texas. Texas, Texas, Don't Tread on Me. All these were, were acquired through donations on other channels. Except those Libertads, I know that those didn't come from other channels. Um, this is a cool one, Darth Vader. I know this is Silver Seeker. Superman, Silver Seeker. Uh, the Canada um, Tiger or Panther, maybe? But it's cool. Buffalo. It is a Canadian, true Canadian coin. Stormtrooper. And we've all seen these, but I just want to let you know what I ended up with. Another Darth. A maple. Another maple. Incus maple. Um, another maple and the year of the ox so these are all cool what'd you find out what'd you find out here um, it is not the first year the first year was 1982 and it's got a it's got a down year of 85 on it for which one the 1986 That would be this one that's really toned up. And you know, toning doesn't necessarily kill the value of a coin, but it can hurt it. But I like toning, so it doesn't hurt my 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 opinion on them. So she's saying about $35 for this Libertad right here. And I must have acquired these somewhere. I don't remember where. And then what have we got here? Oh, uh, 76 silver and a Yellowstone. There's a bunch of these in the um, grab bags. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to spend about two, I'm going to spend about four more minutes on this stuff. And then I'm going to get to donations. So let me get deep into this box. This box is amazing. 
Um, this was given to me by um, was this your nephew? Where did I get these? I th yeah. These were given to me, I think. Um, but that's an 87 proof we got Morgan. silver and another one, a cousin to that one. But this one's a black series and I don't see, I don't really deal with these a lot, but it's also a proof. My lighting's all jacked up in here today. It really has never been good, but so there's that. Let's jump over here. This is all from donations. The challenge is getting one or two out of these. Oh, these are my Morgans that I bought. I bought a roll on eBay. And so I ended up with about 20 Morgans. Oh, this is what I wanted to show Dash. And somebody else asked about them. I bought a full roll of these, and then as soon as I got them, I put them in uh, protectors. Now you think, man, that's, you know, protectors are like $1 to $2 a piece. Not at my coin store. I get 10 protectors for a dollar because they don't put any of their coins out on the street in protectors. They're all, you know, sold in uh, two-by-twos. So that's a whole stack of Morgans there. And this was a whole stack of, let me make sure, the Barber Dollars. And Dash just picked some of these up the other day. So he's going all out. He's, uh, he's officially hooked in the community. And uh, watch out, that guy's... That guy's picking up speed, I call it. That one, and I still got two minutes. Let's see what we got here. These are all from the community. Spider-Man, Kookaburra. You've already seen that one. This is the two dragon. Gotta check that one out. Being difficult okay and remember last week we had a couple donations that are existing in the bucket at the end of stream giveaway I mean the um, donation drawing and then um, we picked up two or three or four more donations on Friday uh, Casey Red Dragon did a full box he ended up with eight Grab bag pulls and one silver pull. So let's see if we can get some more of these coins out. So the coyote, and these are all true Canadian dollars. Another maple, the lion. Another Spider-Man. The kookaburra. Another tiger. Another dragon. Got this from, from Half Dollar Make You Holler, the Great White Shark. That is probably like my first coin in this community I got from them. After I got that, I ended up hunting down the rest of those coins. They're an Australian um, series. I love to fish and I love sharks. We used to go out off the Golden Gate Bridge and fish for crab out by the Farallone Islands. Um, some people here might know about those islands, some people might not. And um, great white sharks would fly around out there and, and breach and get seals just like you see in the movies. And we used to watch that stuff going on in a Zodiac, an inflatable, 25 miles offshore at the Farallone Islands. So that'll, know, that'll let you know how crazy we were. And then it looks like here, this is another stack of all coins that I've found coin roll hunting. And one more. I think we almost made it all the way through them. These are um, 
All Silver Seeker, Krugerand, the Chi Wu, Chiam Wang, the Zin Gallus. All these, all these coins right here have certificate of authenticity. All this was through um, Silver Seeker. Now, there's a couple in here that was, I was given for my birthday, and I'm going to show you that one, and then we are done. I hope I didn't bore you guys with this. Let's go over these real quick. This is a, um, man, I wish I could read them. Silver Shield. Dragon. Yeah, let's look at him. Check him out. He's cool. And one more I want to show you. And I'm going to put this stuff away and we're going to get down to coin roll hunting. This was given to me by my lady. We're going to get the rest of this set. I don't know what this set was called, but I really liked it. I got it for my birthday. And I'm going to end up getting the rest of this set, but I've been so busy. And the rest of them are not released yet. Maybe one has been released. Got a crocodile on the back. And it is a two ounce round. It's probably got a high premium. It's probably got a $10 premium, maybe $20 premium, but I'm going to get the rest of those. So that was that. Let me poke the, all this stuff back in here. Maybe I can get it all in there. Maybe not. And this is just stream finds, coin roll hunting. It has nothing to do with what I did previous to um, YouTube and getting on board with this. All right, I got them all away. Did we see Nature Hunter in here? Nature Hunter sent me a email that said she was looking for 100 Merc Dimes and she needed 89 more. While I was at the coin store, I found her some dimes. I picked up 50 of them. So when she shows up, she's going to be excited and we're going to work out a deal whether she's going to do donations for them or whatever. Um, but we'll work out a deal on that. Those are barbers. All right. We are done with that. This is the entries from last week. Okay, so last week. And Friday. And Friday, we had these entries. Silver Haze, Nature Hunter, we need a, where's the big one? It's right here. Okay. Moose Socks, Jay Wolf, another for Silver Haze. So we got five, 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 and five. I forgot to say thank you. On Friday, when I bugged out, Jay Wolf, thank you for the donation. Uh, very kind of you. Moose Socks, thank you for the donation. Very kind of you. Let's, Oh, wait. Leslie, Leslie did it on last, last Sunday, Sunday, and so did Silver Haze. Okay, and Silver Haze, thank you for last Sunday's donation. Leslie Cajun Digger, thank you for last Sunday's donation. And Nature Hunter, thank you for last Sunday's donation. Now, Nature Hunter held off on one week of, of shipping stuff out, so she's got a monster pack already waiting out there. If she shows up today... Um, we are going to so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass these over here and flip sides gonna tear them up and fold them and We are gonna get them all in there I'll let you fold them so okay. all folded the same way. So Casey Red Dragon this is Casey Red Dragon's 50 entries. He bought a full box on Friday So we are gonna get him Entered. Awesome. 
This might take a few minutes. So do we have donators for today? We do. We have um, three donators. Uh, first one is Shibby Rob with a $25 donation. Shibby Rob wants a grab bag. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Next one is um, Jared Dasher. Dash. With a $50 donation. Dash wants two grab bags or one silver pole. Thank you very much, Dash. Uh, and then we have the Real 300 ZX Man with a $25 donation. And Real 300 ZX, he would like a grab bag. Thank you very much. And by the way, I did double my grab bags because if somebody buys one box, it almost kills all my grab bags. So I have, I'm up to like 25 grab bags. Um, you won't find me ever using the number 13. Um, so there is no 13 in there. There's no 13 in my silver poles. I don't like to use that number. If I get something and it's 13, I get one more um, or one less. I don't know, it's kind of weird on that number. And I'm not usually like that. Well, let's get all these. So everybody has their name on these ones except for Casey Red Dragon and his is CRD. Um, the next ones I'll tell you on the three for today when you're done with those. It's a good time to be. Jared, you can buy a full box with a $250 donation and that will get you 10 grab bag pulls or it will get you five silver pulls. Um, so you just throw down 250 and we're on our way. And um, I have plenty of boxes today and uh, I have plenty of good stuff to give away. Smokey's got his ball stuck under that chair. Um, I think it's he wants that plate. Oh, he does? Yes, he's begging like that. So my little man, Smokey Boots, is he's on the begging wagon these days. It used to be all about the ball, but now he's on the begging wagon. And so the other day he escaped, I guess about a month and a half ago, two, two months ago. He got out with no other dogs, so he just lost his mind and ran across the street and through the neighbor's front fence and ended up in the backyard and me and that neighbor don't get along and I had to knock on the door so that I could go back there and get him and he went all the way back around and around the corner and it was just a huge thing. It took 20 minutes out of my day to get him back and I thought, why didn't I just get his ball? He would have come right back for the ball. Well, today he escaped. And so I didn't even worry about him. I went and got his ball, went outside, bounced it once, full control. He just can't handle it. You can fold some of those too. <laughs> but we'll get everybody caught up. Mantic, nice to see you in here. We're getting caught up from the end of stream from last Sunday. People put in to the, the pot for um, uh, donations. And so we are getting caught up on all these little tabs. I start off my donation drawing with a silver um, silver eagle. Today it's a commemorative. And then I add as we go, depending on what was what was put in there. I just got, Mantic, how long have you been in here? I just got um, done doing all my community. Uh, I went over all the stuff that I've got in the community. You might want to go back and look at that after this stream posts because it's pretty cool stuff and it's stuff that I got from coin stores and I know you're into you know good deals and buying great stuff for the for the donators so go check that out and um, you'll see from like the first couple streams of Silver Seeker what I got and then up to just last week um, it's pretty cool and then boxes and boxes of stuff I found coin roll hunting I have 20 boxes I'm sitting on in the garage today there, Mr. Mantic. Bill J version two, nice to see you in here. 
Yeah, I understand you're busy. I, I checked you out last night. Um, I was kind of lurking and getting prepped for hunting and um, other things. So, but very cool. I have two screens on my computer and sometimes I have um, streams on both. What is this? Okay, no, let's do it in order. Okay. This is for Shibby Rob, he is the star. Shibby Rob, this is your $25 donation for a grab bag. You are the star, star of the show. And so he's first up on that one and then it will be um, Jared Dasher. He has 10 entries. Jared did a $50 donation. He is JD. We're going to start putting dash down on those. Um, Yeah, very cool scores this week, uh, Dash. Um, very nice. Make sure when you go into the coin store, you ask them if they have any um, spot coins now coin stores might have um, spot plus 10 or 15 or 20 cents on a coin and it might be toned out or it might be dirty or whatever if you're not going to pay a high premium on a coin and the coins worth way over what silver is try to get them at spot um, don't let them step on you because certain coins have a little bit more value but a lot of coins don't have any more value than just the silver content. So keep that in mind when you're buying those. And don't be afraid of eBay. You can go to a reputable seller on eBay. And if you go through PayPal, you're protected. You can, um, you can send all that stuff right back. If you do anything with eBay, record it. So from when you land the box on your table, you're recording it. You open it up and you get in there, and if it's weird and it's it's out, it's and something's going on, then you have a record of it, and you can always go back on and throw it back at PayPal, and PayPal will handle the problem. 300 ZX, you got five going in here. Thank you very much for your donation. Um, I hope, yeah, it took an hour. I knew it would, um, but I wanted to show that stuff to you so that I can put it deep in the safe and not have to worry about bringing it back out for a while. Um, I went and bought 33 more grab bags yesterday um, and I had to burn like six of them. I am looking at them all now to make sure that there's at least a good value in there. All right, Jared, nice. To, uh, I'll keep an eye out for you. Um, yeah, appointments are, you got to do stuff. So here is the Silver Eagle that I'm putting in here, the commemorative. And this will start the drawing off for today. We'll start hunting some coins. And uh, we're all caught up? Yes. Does Jared want us to wait for him? or Jared, do you want us to wait for you on your donation? Um, you said an hour. Will it really be an hour? He might already be uh, bugged out. Stop, Piper. Um, if you guys don't know, I have four Jack Russells. It is snowing here. It is a somewhat of a small blizzard this morning. Um, but that's good for me and, and hunting because it's going to get the elk moving. The elk come down out of Wyoming. Oh, Hold on. I got to fix this. I'll be right back.
Shout out to Nitro, shout out to Glacier. Huh, I want the ice you never paid for. I got a bankroll, becoming major. Huh, I'll zip you up just like a tailor. I got the world in my hands, where's the glory in that? I need more for the kids, thinking matter of fact. I need rest for the people straight up finishing last. I need bars for the kids who care less for a max. Yeah, shape up, parallelogram. Don't string yourself out on any paragraphs. Ride up, little homie, fill up a notepad. Write words that you know will make an impact. I caught myself in running dumb tracks. So I started soaring up and lived that. Still pulling up to you, I'm rapping 10 raps. I was taught up with Apollo, I took 10 classes. A hundred people, I don't been that. Yo, people took me down, I felt a relapse. Woo! I got potential, gotta see ya. Yo, I'm reverential to my lead. Okay, sorry. It's like rounding up cattle. Thank you all for waiting. Kier, nice to see you in here. Hey, I got a pack standing by. I am going to mail it tomorrow. So, um, be ready for that pack to show up in like 10 days. How's that, Les? Um, okay. Hey, be okay. Nice to see you in here. Mega Silver Fingers. Be okay. Very cool. I'm glad to see you in here. Hang out. Enjoy this crowd. This crowd's pretty cool. Um, they do a lot of gameplay, and they don't just talk about, like I do, nothing. Um, they talk about stuff in the community, so check them out. Okay, so fresh box. We're going to crack it open. We're going to see what we got. This is one of six boxes that I have from a bank. And then I have another bank six boxes. And then I have another bank six boxes. And then I have, I think that's it. But I have six boxes of double stackers and I have 12 boxes of these. Who's up first? Uh, should be Rob, have him pick a number. Shibby Rob, pick a number, and we are always going to do this. Closest to you in a zigzag all the way down through, all right? We're not going to ever look for enders. We're not going to flip them over anymore, none of that stuff. We're just going to go with how they sit in the box. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no problem, Gear. I'm going to get that pack out. You said hold it for a week, so I am gonna. Uh, I am the week is up, and I'm gonna send it. Coin Junkie AG, very cool. Nice to see you in here. Come on, Silver. Yeah, that's correct. We ended up. I ended up finding. Oh, so Friday's stream, I did a half a box and then another half a box for Casey Red Dragon because I just didn't want him to get skunked. 
He ended up getting skunked anyway, I think, but he got a ton of stuff. He's got a bag this big. Can you imagine eight grab bags and two silver pull? Well, eight grab bags and one silver pull. I'm going to need one of the bigger priority boxes to get his stuff to him. Um, this was Friday. This is where we're at Shibby Rod. Okay. Shibby, you're going to pick a number? Between 1 and 50. Oh, I got it. 24. So it's 10, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to lay this one down because that's our next one. Oh, I got my knife. <laughs> I'm lost without this knife. Oh, so what I was saying about the hunt is uh, this snow and this cold weather knocks them down out of Wyoming. They come into Colorado and they come up over a little mountain area and then they land into a little uh, belly of a little kind of valley. It's still 5,000 feet, but then they head towards Utah and um, then they go to Utah to graze for the year. Um, for the winter and then they come back um, in Utah it's kind of flat over there so that a lot of problems with winter kill is that they can't get to their food because the snow blows in and it lands in the trees and then they end up getting trapped with no food and they can't get out if you get 150 inches of snow in the mountains you can understand how hard it is to get around. So they go to Utah and they uh, run around in Utah because the snow blows clear and then they can graze those fields. So that's kind of what they do here. But this weather's gonna break it open and it's gonna be a good hunt. Let's uh, get at these five rolls. Shibby Rob, good luck to you. I hope you find silver, my friend. Um, oh, and I was saying I did half and half for Casey Red Dragon, and he ended up not getting anything, but I went through the rest of the rolls. I found a Ben Franklin and a real crusty-ass uh, 1964 40-percenter in those boxes, along with um, something else, oh, along with this. Let's get at it. Oh, there's silver. Really? First one? First roll, nice. 1966. All right. Might have an epic box. Shibby Rob, you're on the board. First roll. Was that coin number two? In that roll? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared that there's going to be a lot of silver. That's um, good. Flip side was we were having a discussion the other day about that box that had the 230 NIFCs in it. And um, if I gave a 40% silver away for every three NIFCs, that would have been like $100 in 40% Kennedys. But it is what it is. Take the good with the bad. No silver in this roll. Very cool, silver on the first roll. Three NIFCs will get you a 40 percenter. And you can bank, there's an NIFC. And you can bank them if you want. Um, I put them in a flip and then I stick them in a box and um, I save them for you. They're labeled. Well, only an NIFC in those two rolls. Can you step out and get me a throwaway box out of the garage? Doesn't matter what you do to prep. You still don't have it all.
Doesn't look like any silver in this roll, but we'll clack them. Well, and then IFC and there's not one on the floor. Doesn't look like any silver in this one either. You can bring me one of those bags there by the furnace. So I've got a two car garage. I did heating and cooling for a living for years. So I ran a gas line to the garage and um, vented a 150,000 BTU furnace in my garage. My garage can be 10 below and um, it comes up a degree a minute. So I can go from 10 below to um, say 60 in there in like an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. So it's very cool. There was only one silver and one NIFC shibby, but you're on your way for a grab bag. We'll get that taken care of. Let me see that. Did you give me a bag? Oh, thank you very much. So these are the double stackers boxes that I have. I have six of those out in the garage or five or something like that. So if we get past this box, then we can step out there and uh, get a double or I think we ought to stick with the rectangle boxes and I think we ought to stick with this bank. We'll see. We'll know more in a minute. I'm going to... Um, So I've doubled up on the grab bag. There's now 25 coins in here. So we are going to, I counted them earlier. I know they're all in here. Let's, uh, number 14 for Shibby Raw. 11, 12, 13, 14. And I have the right to adjust bags. Um, if I don't think there's enough in there, I'm gonna adjust them. We'll see what's up. Oh, yeah. So you've got a 2004 NIFC. This is a clad, but it is a proof. Very nice. I will um, get a better protector for this and put it in there. Then you have a silver 40% 1976 S half dollar. Is that the proof? N no, it's not a proof. It's just silver. Then you have this other NIFC. You have a Merc Dime. This Merc Dime is a 1941. We have, oh yeah. When I was looking through these bags, holy moly, there's some nice buffaloes in here. This is a 1937. If you can see the F below the date, They are really good looking buffaloes. And all these buffaloes are really nice. See the F down there? And then the feathers. It is a very good buffalo and I will put it in a protector for you. I was looking at some buffaloes in the coin store and um, they all depending on, it's all depending on the quality. They say, full horn if it's got a full horn it's like way up there in premium price so very nice nickel you've got a weedy here looks like a 1929 weedy and an ICG MS 64 red cent 1947 slab it is very nice So, very cool pull for you. Um, I hope you like that. I hope you appreciate it. Um, let me know what you think. Coin Junkie AD. I need coins, big flip. Yeah, hey, Brian. Um, 
Let me show you something. I'm gonna throw a silver diamond on that bag. So you got two silver dimes in that bag. And then you have this, what you found in the rolls. It is a 1966 half dollar. So congratulations on all those. And I will prep all this for mailing so that it won't hurt each other. But for right now, I gotta just put them in there and move on. So we got that. Yeah, Brian, I got you. I got those coins coming to you. Matter of fact, they're going out tomorrow. And um, look up the value of a Kennedy 40 percenter and um, mail to me the equivalent. It's a hundred and a quarter for what I'm sending you. And that is. I think he's talking about the coins. What coins? The coins on here. Oh, really? You know what? Brian, I don't know how to do that. I guess I'll have to call down Sidekick and um, have him come down and give you some coins. He's not feeling good today, so he's upstairs licking his wounds. Hey, Big Flip, give me some coins. I got you. I got you, brother. You're on top spot. Molly. Um, love it. Thanks, Big Flip. Cool. Glad you like it. I try to make all the bags... You know, nice bags. Um, so the, I, I said I picked up 33 bags yesterday and I had to burn about six. It's because they just weren't quality bags. I'm going to have a talk with them. We have a huge coin show going on a couple towns away. And um, all the coin shop stuff went north for the coin show. So this is Shibby. He is 14. Okay. I have is he banking his? Um, yeah, we'll just bank it. Um, I put it in there, so it's in there. I'll handle it. Okay. I'll handle banking it. Well, I already put it down. Oh, okay. All you have to do is do this. Well, let me see. Let me see if I can pull something up. Well, don't push buttons. Just pull the thing up. Hold on. Currency. Let me try seeing what he's... If you can hear me, but Brian, if you can hear me, how do you do that with the whole chat? I'm not so sure Garrett knew how to do it either. I mean, uh, well, we better get him down here. Well, I think something worked. I don't know. It worked. I tried it. Huh? He said he got something. Oh, yeah, he probably has control of it. Okay, cool. So you handled it because you're a mod, Brian. Very cool. Something I learned today. Um, yeah, give yourself a bunch. I don't know. If everybody I'd doesn't like have give, coins... I'd like to give the whole chat 500 each. I don't know how to do that. Me neither. Brian, do you, do you have the ability to give the chat coins? If so, give them 500. All right, we're going to move on. Um, we're, we're going to do Jared right now. He's got a $50 donation. Let's see if we can't find him some silver out of this box. So he's going to get 10 rolls. One, two. Zigzag. Three, four. Five, six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. This is our next roll. We'll have to let him know what he got. I think he's bugged out. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pop the top on these. And I'm going to wait until... 
we are done with um, the real 300. And then hopefully Jared might be back. He had an appointment. Um, but I will set these aside for Jared. And if he gets back, I think he wants a silver pole so it won't come into play on the grab bags that uh, 300 Z-Man is going to get. Dash Jared has been uh, hunting silver this week. So we're going to leave these right here. And if he's not here, by the time we're done with the Z-Man, we will uh, open him up. All right, Z-Man, here you go. There's a loose half. Oh, no, I, I threw some in there, didn't I? Okay, so we got five rolls for the Z-Man. One, two, three, four, and five. Thank you for your donation. I appreciate you very much. I hope you get lots of good stuff in your grab bag. I'm going to lay that down. Let's crack these open. You know, I'm really afraid that I'm going to step in and use some of these coins over here. So I'm going to move them. Those are Jared's. Yeah, these are Jared's. I'm going to move them right there. And I'm going to set something on them so I don't grab one. Okay, 300 Z-Man, here you go. Let's see what we can find. Nope. Is that weird? The first roll. No silver. Let's see if we can't find an NIFC or something. I don't see any silver. Come on, silver. No silver. No silver in this roll either. Mantic, do you keep toned coins? Like toned half dollars? Nothing in that roll. Well, sorry, it doesn't look like there was any silver in your rolls. This is 300 Z-Man. Hey, there's an NIFC for you, my friend. I put it in your bag. If you want it, I'll send it to you. If you don't, um, then I'll, I'll bank it. And for every three you get, you'll get a 40 percenter. Um, did you write bank on that? No, 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 I have it here. Can you write it on that envelope for me, that other one? All right, let's see what we got. Twenty three. Yeah, toned. I I have rolls and rolls of toned coins. Um, I think they're very cool. I keep them just because. All right, all right, we're on the board. Nineteen ninety five. This is a proof set.
It is very cool. I love these proof sets. I don't even really even have any um, proof sets. I have a lot of mint sets, but I don't have a lot of proof sets. And then you've got a mint set 1990. Then you have one of these Lincoln Kennedy pennies. This is where they stamp Kennedy's face next to Lincoln so they're looking at each other. I don't know where these came from. They must have been around a long time. But I think it's pretty cool. You got one of those. It's got astonishing coincidences. Lincoln was elected in 1860. Kennedy was elected in 1960. There are seven letters in each name. Both presidents were slain on a Friday. Both were slain in the presence of their wife. Both were directly concerned with civil rights. Both presidents had legality of elections con contested. Kennedy's secretary, Lincoln, warned him not to go to Dallas. Lincoln's secretary, Lincoln's secretary Kennedy, wow. Kennedy's secretary Lincoln warned him not to go to Dallas and Lincoln's secretary Kennedy warned him not to go to the theater. Both of their successors were named Johnson, Andrew Johnson, Lyndon Johnson. Each name contains 13 letters. Both served in the U.S. Senate. Both were Southern Democrats. Andrew Johnson, born in 1808. Both Booth and Oswald were both Southerners favorite, favoring unpopular ideas. Oswald shot Kennedy from a warehouse and hid in a theater. Booth shot Lincoln in a theater and hid in a warehouse. Both Booth and Oswald were murdered before trial could be arranged. Lincoln and Kennedy were carried in death on the same case on. Um, Booth and Oswald were born 100 years apart. Lee Harvey Oswald, John Wilkes Booth, each name has 15 letters. Very cool. This is a 1908 Indian head penny. Look those up because I've been looking those up and and they've been they've been worth quite a bit. And I don't take away from the bags. I just add to them. So there's your bag there. I am going to throw in a silver dime on top of that just to make it right. I wasn't. Um, um, I hope you enjoyed that bag and uh, 300 Z-Man. There is a little post-it note in here of the value of everything that's in there. And um, I hope to see you on future streams. 300. Oh, another thing I did is I picked five envelopes last week and I put um, a $2 bill in them. For future stream donations, you can you can donate the two dollar bill to whatever stream you want, wherever you want it to go. But that's my idea: is to put two bucks in a bag um, to help you with your next donation towards any stream out there. And um, I thought that was pretty cool. I only did it on five bags, so if there was twenty bags going out, only five of them got the two dollar bill and the little note to go along with it. But I thought that was a cool way to uh, to. Um, to move it along in the community. Um, nice Indian head scent. Yes, less very cool. Yep, that's yours. I appreciate you very much, 300 Z-Man, and I will be getting those out tomorrow, providing we don't get snowed in, but um, I will. I can make it to the mailbox. Oh, and bank. Do you want to bank this in IFC, or do you want it? Forty percent, or you need three NIFCs to get a forty percent. So we can bank it for you. We'll write it down, and then we'll have that, and be able to uh, um, be able to give you a forty percent. Or if in the future you do get a couple more.
Yes, I have your address. You told me to keep it, so I have it. All right, so I'm going to bank it. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to bank that thing. And we are going to move on to Jared. I'm sorry he's not here, um, but we got to get it done. There are no more donations after Jared, which is, it's uh, it's all right. It's cool. Um, that way we can, we can get some stuff done this afternoon. But I wanted to make sure that the stream was up and running today. And um, we sold a box and a half on Friday. And it's you can't do a Friday stream and not step on somebody's toes. So I think I'm just going to move it around a little bit and step on everybody's toes a little bit. Um, Rob does it. Uh, oh, well, it doesn't matter. So let's get on Jared Silver Hunt. There it is. We have silver in this roll. Second from the end. It's a 1967. It's pretty crusty. But Jared's on the board. So there's a couple in this box. Let's see what else we can come up with. Sleeping? Yeah, he's not doing well. He's I know he's not going well. Come on, Silver. Nope. You guys go check Mantic's channel out. Um, I don't really hunt for errors. They hunt for errors over there. What I know about half dollar errors, I learned from Mantic. So if you guys want to learn how to um, how to uh, hunt errors, um, go over to Mantic and he'll show you how to do it. Did you hear silver? I thought I heard something funny. To 66, but I didn't hear it. it is another silver? Yeah. <laughs> right on. So Jared got another silver. It's a 1966. I didn't see it, and I didn't hear it, but I saw it on the date. Look. You can barely see that thing. Well, you can see it better. I'm going to have to fix the lighting in here. I'm going to move all my stuff downstairs and um, clean up downstairs. I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to collector stuff. I've got I've got lots and lots of NASCAR memorabilia. Um, just it's crazy down there. But I'm going to move all that stuff up here. I'm going to send a bunch to auction. And I'm going to have my own area down there where we can... Uh, I'm not have to deal with those Jack Russells running around and causing crap. So we have this 66. Very cool. Yeah, you're welcome, Manic. Uh, thank you for all you do for me. Man, I almost missed that 66. It's a good thing. I, I caught the date. Is the color off or something? No, I don't know what's up with that. I don't know how I missed it. I never miss coins. Huh? Maybe. Maybe I am talking too much. Yeah, I'm just going to get better lighting downstairs and not have to deal with it. 
I can set it up and not have to reassemble, reassemble it every day, every time I stream. Five down, five to go. We found two silvers. Let's see what we got. Thought I heard something weird. I didn't hear something. Nope. Four more rolls for Jared. Who's watching football? Anybody watching football? Who's playing? I didn't even get to check the schedule today. But maybe I'll get to watch some football today. I didn't get to last week. We went until about 4 or 5 o'clock. I grew up in the Bay Area, and I was a 49er fan for years. Montana Rice era, era 86s. And then I came here to Colorado, and we've been here 25 years. It's kind of hard not to be a Donko fan. Nope, nothing in that row either. Well, Jared's got two silvers, and I know he's been hunting silver. So, Dash, are you in the house? If you're not in the house, I'm going to pull you silver. I think that's why he went that direction. Go Raiders, huh? What do you think about the Raiders going to Las Vegas? Are they there? When are they supposed to be there? Houston waiting on Green Bay very cool if you guys want to get in on a donation now's the time to do it or we're gonna wind down and I'm going to probably give Jarrett um, a silver pole and if he doesn't want that pole and he meant to I meant to ask him if he wanted um grab bags but we'll give him a few more minutes I'll let you guys beat around in here and play the games I'm going to go to a quick intermission and I'll be right back. See you guys in a minute.
Shout out to Nitro, shout out to Glacier. Huh, I want the ice you never paid for. I got a bankroll, becoming major. Huh, I'll zip you up just like a tailor. I got the world in my hands, was the glory in that? I need more for the kids, thinking matter of fact. I need rats for the people straight up in the shellac. I need bars for the kids who care less for a Mac. Yeah, shape up, parallelogram. Don't string yourself out on any paragraphs. Ride up, little homie, fill up a notepad. Write words that you know will make an impact. Ooh, I caught myself in running dumb tracks. So I started soaring, I went live that. Still pulling up to you, I'm rapping 10 raps. I was taught up with Apollo, watching 10 classes. A hundred people, I don't been that. Yo, people took me down, I felt a relapse. Ooh, I got potential, gotta see ya. Yo, I'm reverential to my lead. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm going to pull Brian Wilkinson. I mean, yeah, um, I mean, uh, Dash, Jared Dresh, Jesher, I'm, Dash. I'm go Dasher. I'm going to uh, just pull him a silver pole. I think that's what he wants. So let's see what he gets. So at least he can see it. Um, Yeah, are you heading out? Oh, Z-Man is. He got number eight. Let's see what we got in number eight. With these uh, Ben Franklins in here, um, it's kind of a mess. Well, we missed the Ben Franklins. Let's see what else we got. There it is. He got a bullion bag. One of the original bags that I put in here. Very cool. So he'll have some silver coming his way. Let's see what he got. He's got the sunshine round. This is a one ounce. Oh no, this is the half troy ounce sunshine round. And then he got a half troy ounce buffalo round. And then he got the quarter ounce barber head. And then he got the 10th ounce 
Walker. So 10th ounce Walker. Quarter ounce Barber. These are just bullion. They are not coins. He's got uh, um, half troy ounce um, of the Sunshine Mint. Man, there's something got in there. But I'll get that piece of something out of there. And then he got the Buffalo Round half ounce or two. So very cool. On top of that, he's got these two um, 40 percenters. So that's very cool. Let me get these in a bag for him. And I'll write that on there. And then him and I will get in contact on an email and we'll see if that's what he wanted. But um, I think that's what he wanted. That's why he did $50. Um, you guys, thank you for showing up today. I'm going to do an industry giveaway, and then I'm going to do the donation giveaway. Um, I appreciate you all for being in here. Can you put that over there for Jared? Sure. Okay. And I am going to throw in, on top of that silver, on top of that silver um, eagle commemorative, I am gonna throw in a quarter, and it is a 1916 barber quarter on top of that silver eagle for the donators. And then I am going to do for the industry giveaway another barber quarter. First one, it's a 1904. I will show you that. And one little dime off the top. 1947 dime. Those two are for the industry giveaway. And these two are the donator giveaway. Thank you all for showing up. I'm going to get to the donator first, and then we'll do the end of stream. We're gonna shake them up. All right. Drop it right on the table. Jared won it. Dash. Jared, congratulations. Made out like a bandit, my friend. You got two more pieces of silver to go in your bag. Can I have his bag? Thank you all for the donations. Um, as always, the more donations that come in, the more I add to it. But I'll put those in Jared's bag, and we will get a bag pulled for the end of stream. It's going to be a number deal. Um, how many people are in here, does it say? 15. All right, we're going to pick a number between 1 and 20. I am going to write it down. All right, whatever. Let me have a little piece of paper. No, we're going to go, okay, we'll go 1 to 30, so everybody has a chance not to guess the same number. I'm going to write it down behind this bucket, then I'm going to slip it under the bucket. Between 1 and 30, make sure nobody can see me. And wait till I say go. Wait till she says go. And the number is written down. So wait till you see it in the chat. Go, and then you can throw your number out there. Good luck. Guess one time. Yeah, let's only guess one time.
between 1 and 30. Only guess one time. Stop. It is Gier Mathello DeWang with the number 23. Brian Wilkinson was right behind him, but Gier got it first according to... Oh, he did? That's okay. So I'm going to take a picture and show it to you on my end. Oh, gear, guess four times. Okay, we've got to do it over, guys. Only guess once, okay? Gear, I'm sorry, but that's not going to work. So, let's start over. Since there's only a, well, okay, we'll do it one to 30. Only guess once. I covered it up. It's underneath the bucket. When you see go, go. I'll only guess once. I'm sorry, Gear. You didn't understand, but it's got to be fair. Yeah, Mary Love, we got it. Mantic likes likes that number eight. Shibby Rob come in at seventeen. I still don't see it. Anybody else got a guess? Thirty more seconds. If nobody guesses it, we'll. Do one more member. Peter, guess it. Well, three lessons and it's 30. Peter, 27. All right, we're going to drop the number down. Um, the flip side's going to stop. We're going to drop the number down between 1 and 20. And keep an eye on the guesses so you don't redundant guess, okay? Are you going to redo another? Yeah, no problem, Gear. I understand. Yeah, I'm going to write another num a new number. Did you put stop in there? Mm -hmm. I don't see it yet. I'll wait. Oh, it's just been a while ago. Not since you said go. Oh, I have an error here. Okay. Okay. I can do it. It Thanks, Brian. Okay, Brian, thank you very much. I'm going to write down another number. That number was 16. Nobody got it. Okay, between 1 and 20, I'm going to write it down one last time. Somebody's going to get it this time. Um, all right, I wrote it down. Okay, go. Looks like all of them got in again. Which would be 16. Come on, everybody, get your guess in there. It's only eight. Anybody else out there with a guess? You need to learn how to do that. Scott R., we're good. We're wrapping this thing up. Throw a number out there between 1 and 20. 30 more seconds. Number 6. 
All right, everybody, stop. Nope. <laughs> okay, there's 13 watching. Okay, there's a stop. We got 15, 16, 17. We missed 18 and did a 19. We're going to go again. Let me pick a number this time. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, between 1 and 15. Only guess once. I don't even remember the number now. <laughs> you just wrote it down. <laughs> I think we were up too late last night. Yeah. Laura Day, throw out a number between 1 and 15. Two. Oh, okay. We're waiting on Peter because he retracted. Brian retracted. Uh oh, I see. They had duplicates. Brian, you have a duplicate number there. Scott R, a sidekick pull is a sidekick bag containing five times 90 percenters and three times 40 percenters. And I grab in there and see if you get a 90 or a 40 percenter. All right, stop. Nobody got it. That was the number I was going to put down. Five. <laughs> We're going to do it again. You know that? That was the number I was going to write down. Yeah, but you can't write it down. <laughs> um, between one and 15 again. And... Um, whenever you're ready. All right, we got it. Pierre got it with the number one. All right, guys, sorry that was so difficult. We'll do the random picker next time, um, but I just don't know how to do it. And um, I hope you all had a great time in here. We've already stopped that draw, and uh, Pierre won it with number one. Thank you guys for showing up. Um, lots of fun and uh, check me on Friday. I don't know exactly what time it'll be on Friday, but I think it's gonna be four o'clock and um, I'm stepping on Big T's toes, but I'm missing Brian and um, I think BLK comes on after me. So um, you all have a great day. I want to uh, throw out the Donator shout outs here so we had Casey Red Dragon, Moose Socks, Wolf, yeah, Wolf Nature Hunter, Leslie Cajun Digger, and Silver Haze all on Friday. And Sunday of last week. No. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were the rollovers. And then today, Shibby Rob. Jared and the 300 Z man. I appreciate you all and uh, I hope to see you in this next week's stream I and it'll picture of that. I think Brian had a one too, but he yeah, and he was Gier, right down the list. That's Gier all right, Brian. Up. Let me show it to you So Gier came in at like the third guess Okay
nitro. Shout out to Glacier. Huh. I want the ice he never paid for. I got a bankroll. He coming major. Huh. I'll drip you up just like a tailor. I got the world in It's probably something to do with top chat or live chat. Yeah. All right, let me show this to you. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but if you look there, gear is right there. And there's the go. And you are down there after him. So you're there. He's there. And there's the go. Sorry about that, Brian. Thanks for being here in the stream and um, let's talk via email to get you those NIFCs and I have something going a little extra going out to you for modding me out and helping me out uh, Mary Love, Peter Boys, Shibby Rob thank you for everything you do Laura Day, Brian um, Gear thank you for all you do your pack will be going out tomorrow my friend so keep an eye out for that if you need a tracking number I can give it to you but, um, wait, I don't think I can give you a tracking number. Maybe I can, I don't know. If I can, I'm gonna make sure that happens. Gear got it before the stop. What's going on? Oh, I do see that now. What is it? We're, I didn't see it. So where it says gear, he got in, him and Mary got in before we stopped. No, it, it, that's right. Because we did the one to three. I said, let's go. And then we had, you got the number two down and one and six. And then I said, stop. Because gear had it first. So that's correct. Yeah, it's correct, Brian. So, according to my phone, there's the go. There's gear. We screamed stop. And then you came in right there. So, it's correct. Hey, shoot me an email if you still have a problem with that and we'll work it out, okay, my friend? But you all have a great day. I'm sorry there was some some issues with the drawing there i'm sorry it took so long we're um, gonna learn all the commands hope to see you all next friday and sunday and it will be my last stream for about uh two weeks time which is next weekend and then i'm moving on uh to do my hunting deal will you put that over there for him so brian i hope there's not uh any issues shibby thanks a lot yeah catch you next time my friend Ooh. Yeah, I'm working on it. All right, guys, remember uh, like and subscribe, hit that bell for next week, and uh, remember always pay it forward. Peace out.